Phuket Extra is brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort. Chill in the sun, sip under the stars. Salwadi Kap and welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort, Phuket. I'm JP Mitsanza and today we've got a shooting in the head, some tech news, but we'll start off with this. The path to formal succession for Crown Prince Vajira Longkorn to become Thailand's new king has begun with high-ranking officials in Bangkok acknowledging his rightful claim to the throne earlier this week. The cabinet has begun the process required by the constitution while the president of the National Legislative Assembly, Pornpech Wichit Cholchai, officially nominated the prince as members of the interim parliament declared, long live the king. Now, Thailand's new king is expected to meet with members of the National Legislative Assembly, which reports say will happen soon. The commander of the army operations in Phuket is confirming that nine people were being questioned following a complaint accusing army officers of, quote, collecting money from business operators around the island. The corruption complaint was made last week, but Major General Arkom Pong Pram did tell the Phuket News that their investigation into the allegations led them to nine individuals. None, however, were charged and they have since been released after questioning. The announcement came at a meeting yesterday at Provincial Hall with several high-ranking military officials around the island and police, including Phuket Governor Chok Chai Dejamontan. The topic of the meeting was about the crackdown on the top five issues plaguing the island. According to the governor, the top five issues include number one, organizing Phuket beaches, number two, taxi management, number three, encroachment and wastewater management, four, mafia and entertainment venues, and five, gambling and corruption. And police are searching for a man accused of shooting his employer in the head, then running away after an altercation in Coquel early on Monday morning. 42-year-old man is on the run in Phuket after allegations were made that he shot his boss in the head. In Coquel, the boss in question, 38-year-old Pisek Pong, Anwan is expected to make a full recovery and even spoke with police following the incident. Though it's unclear how the whole thing started, the victim told police that 42-year-old Chaya Jongpakdi attacked him first with a hammer, then shot him and ran away. Police say a 22 millimeter bullet was removed from the victim's head and the investigation is ongoing. And Phuket Extra will be right back, so don't go anywhere. You guys ready? Yeah! yeah. Alright, it's gonna be a tough one, let's go. Ready, set, go! Nami's frozen yogurt is all about low sugar, low calorie treats with the flavors you love. Probiotic, delicious, and light. You can also enjoy Nami's on the go with our new Froyo truck. Nami is your sweet oasis with over 15 different toppings. Visit us on the Muay Thai Road, Soit Dayed in Chelong. And welcome back to Phuket Extra. An online celebrity in Bangkok who had crashed her BMW into eight cars in the capital back on November 1st, well, it turns out that she was high on methamphetamine, according to police. Kritrara Taptimpol, known as Zomi, is facing charges of reckless driving, driving without a license causing injuries, and driving under the influence of narcotics, though she pled not guilty to the reckless driving charge. During rush hour back on November 1st, Zomi rear-ended eight cars with her BMW, injuring three people in the process. But she then got out of her car, shouted that there was a bomb in her vehicle, and then danced around cops as they tried asking her about the crash. Hours later at the police station, she fainted and was then transported to the hospital where she tested positive for methamphetamine. And officials are saying they are confident that Thailand will have 5G technology available by 2020. Commissioner Prawit of the National Broadcasting Telecommunications Commission was short on the details of how 5G technology would be rolled out in the kingdom. 
But the announcement did come, however, after the Internet Data Center in the kingdom released figures that government agencies and private companies around Thailand are expected to spend about 500 billion baht by 2020 to take the country's IT infrastructure to the next level. The IDC says that investments into the country's digital transformation, like cloud computing, artificial intelligence, virtual reality, and the Internet of Things, that will see 30% of the top 500 companies within the kingdom able to offer more digital products and services and experiences to consumers. And a new report by Credit Suisse ranks Thailand as the third most unequal country in the world with 1% of its people controlling about 58% of the wealth in the kingdom. The Credit Suisse Global Wealth Report 2016, which was released earlier this week, shows that despite the Thailand's tendency for inequality, the country's average wealth has actually gone up steadily overall in the last 16 years. The report also shows that the overall wealth of people living in the Asia Pacific region has surpassed that of North Americans for the first time ever. Russia was ranked the most unequal country with a whopping 74.5% of its wealth controlled by 1% of its people, while India was second just ahead of Thailand with 58.4%. And that's it for Phuket Extra today. We're looking forward to doing it all over again tomorrow. Until then, stay classy Phuket. Safe Fertility Center Phuket is the international fertility and women's health clinic. We offer diagnosis and treatment of infertility, IVF, ICSI, pregnancy, reproductive system disease, and cancer. Moving? Sending stuff from Phuket? Or maybe you need some important items brought to the island? USPPhuket.com Put yourself in experienced hands. USPPhuket.com